Odumegu Ojoku, the Ikemba Buruburu, because until what he said sinks into your head, you will never understand why you need to leave Nigeria, both Biafrans and non Biafrans. Until what he said in this statement, in this speech, sunk into your head before you will understand the problem that awaits every one of you in Nigeria. And any day I am going live, you are going to listen to this because it will refresh your memory, high your spirit, bring you back to life for the message of that day. So this evening, I have come to address the governor of a Bonny state, Mohamed Omahe. Mohamed Omahe, who have been, you know, according to the story, may not even be a Biafra man, because by their action, we shall know them. Mohamed Omahi may not even be a Biafran. He may not be a Biafran. Do not, don't think that I'm joking. That he is a governor of a Bonny state, he may end up being not even not being a Biafran. So I want these people, I want the people that are always, you know, he's a, he's a e warriors to send this video to him that this is coming from Simon Ekpa today. And for the fact that he have ordered the arrest of people who, according to him, are sharing what he called fake videos of Biafra people, of the Eastern Nigeria people chasing terrorists away from their land. So this evening, I have come to tell Omahe, I don't know whether, I don't know the video he's talking about, but I have come to tell Mohammed Omahi this evening that the video I am going to show him is real. And that is nothing fake. And I have come to show him a video of the Biafra people, the Eastern Nigeria people, destroying terrorist camp in a Bonny state. And I have come to show him video where they have, you know, asked this terrorist in a Bonny state to leave voluntarily. And they started packing their bags and baggages into lorries. So tell Omahe of a Bonny state, Mohammed Omahe of a Bonny state, that his propaganda have failed. In fact, I did not actually want to show these videos. Although some of you may, may have seen the video. I didn't want to show this video in the first place. But Omahi's statement few hours ago have compelled me. Omahi's, Omahi's statement, Mohammed Omahi's statement few hours ago compelled me. So that I will, I will show this video on this page. Ordinarily, I don't want to show it. And... On this note, on this note, I want to sound, you know, I want to give warning to somebody. The somebody I called Afano. How many of you remember somebody called Afano? Afano. Afano has come again from where he is doing some construction work in Japan. Afanu has come again. And in case those who may have come across the video of Afanu, where Afanu was spewing nonsense from his mouth, and this time around, he tried to breathe very well. Afanu has come to say that Simon Ekpa, if he first of all started lying that he has been in meeting and upon meeting, Nobody know that guy. Nobody know Afano. Afano only go and start taking pictures with was written. Afano now started coming and, and started talking something he, know, he knows nothing about. Afano 
because it, it doesn't even qualify me to mention his name so i will not mention his name but those who know what is alpha no knows what i'm talking about the alpha no the alpha no came today somebody posted shared a video to me it is not everything i'll respond but sometimes you don't leave them you don't allow them to excel alpha no came and made a video calling simon Epa in that video and in that video he said simon Epa and world Ibo congress has meeting and uh, uh, indigenous people, IPOB representative were there, Simon Ekpa were there, and they gave Simon Ekpa 45 minutes to address the people. After addressing the people, Simon Ekpa did not mention that uh, uh, there is something like an Eastern security network. Uh, IPOB representative did not mention that uh, there is something like a security network. He said that uh, he chairman, and on this note, I am asking the people in Japan, the people in Japan, to find out who is the Igbo Union chairman in Japan, he needs to be given a serious warning, whoever the person is. You cannot go to a meeting of that magnitude where Igbo people, Biafra people, are discussing internal security issues. And then after listening from Japan, you introduce yourself as a Igbo chairman in Japan. After listening to the meeting, what you do now is to carry wrong information it is now between you and our fan to know who have passed wrong information to the people. You come as if you want to discuss the, the good of the people, and then you stay in the meeting. You didn't make any good contribution, no single sense in it. You, you, you now, after the meeting, you left to go and sell lies. So now, whoever that is the chairman of Igbo Union in Japan, Biafra's there must hold him responsible because he is about to sell himself. This Afanu claimed that he knows everything in the meeting, that he was not there in the meeting, but that the chairman of Igbo Union in Japan briefed him. And what chairman of Igbo Union in Japan briefed him was that we were having a meeting about security. And for that reason, we did not mention the Eastern Security Network. So it, it is a sabotage. The Amazing Namdikano, our leader, have sabotaged. My brother, my people, how does Eastern Security Network amount to sabotaging the impending security danger in the Eastern Nigeria? Well, look at them. That Afano, that Afano in Japan has come again to implicate the Igbo Union chairman in Japan. So if you know him, I'm talking to those of you in Japan, it is time, I want the phone of that man, whoever the person is, to start ringing this night. You need to clarify, that chairman need to clarify what did he tell this Afano. Afano that, that has been taking pictures with Wazirike. What did this Igbo chairman tell Afano and on what ground, on what ground will you go and start discussing Afano, discussing with Afano what you had in the meeting with, with men? Anyway, uh, of course, that has been noted and it will be reported. The, the WIC will have knowledge of this. And next time, when there is any meeting of that magnitude, we will know whether that Igbo Union chairman will, will be in the meeting or not. On this note, I will start. I believe my I believe this clarification and this warning, you know, will get to the person that is directed to. On this note, the uh the Mohammed Omahi of Ebony State, I am making this video to you. Of course, not only to you, in addition to Omahi David uh, Mohammed Omahi of Ebony State. I am also trying to tell those who are thinking that Nigeria is a country. I want to bring your notice. I want to bring you, you know, bring a, a video to your notice. What the information minister of Nigeria said this evening, just a few minutes ago or for a few hours ago. You know what he said? Again, the same tyranny, the same terrorist tendencies. He said the ICC cannot do anything. He said. The international community cannot do anything. 
He said Nigeria is a is a, a sovereign entity. The same thing he did and denied when they interviewed him in London. He has come again today to say the same thing. So let me go quickly and straight to the point. Umahi, what is happening in a Bonyi state? Not only a Bonyi state. What is happening in the in the uh, southern Nigeria? Because this is not uh, about uh, a Biafra state or or uh, eastern Nigeria. This is complete southern Nigeria. Omahi of a uh, Omahi of a Bonyi state. What is happening in southern Nigeria is a total cleansing of terrorist camp. That is what it is. This is not. This is more than you. This is bigger, bigger than you. Omar, you are you were elected by the people that the terrorist Fulani has butchered. Vulnerable women and children in Ebony State, in Anambra State, in Enugu State, in Imo State, in Abia State. Cross River, Aqua Ibom, Bayasa, Rivers. All these places have witnessed butchering, the butchered women and children. And you people who call yourself governors could not protect them. You couldn't protect them. And uh, this kind of thing that uh, you now say you order the arrest of people circulating the video. Let the video, the video is coming from me. The video now, Umahi. Is coming from Simon Epa today, and I'm going to show you the video. I am going to show you the video of Nigeria Eastern Security and the combined Biafra and the West, Southern Nigeria people destroying terrorist camp. They destroy their camp and chase them away in Oduduwa land, Yoruba land. Amotekon did it. Amotekon did it. Followed by the Eastern Security Network. And as I'm talking to you today, Omahe, you are not in control of security in Ebony State because you have failed. You have failed and the people have come to take their own security into their own hand. Not only you, not only you. It is because it as if you know the thing is more i don't we don't know whether it is haunting you more the same thing to the governor of enugu state he didn't make any statement the governor Uguanyi did not make any statement what he did was to immediately inaugurate forest guard he think we didn't know he inaugurated forest guard and then tell the forest guard to start searching for eastern security network and the warning we are giving them this night is if your brother if your brother in, a, in Enugu State is among Forest Guard and he has been or he has been hired by the by the governor, the governor that could not protect you in Uzo One, the governor that could not protect you in different communities in Enugu State, where priests, farmers, and everybody is being butchered. Nobody has been arrested. Some community were chased out completely from their land in Enugu State. The governor could not constitute and inaugurate forest guard to look for who we are killing these people. And on hearing that there is Eastern Security Network, the governor of Enugu State horridly, horridly, you know, inaugurated forest guard, ordered them to go and start looking for Eastern Security Network. The one in this evening is that if your brother is among them, he is a terrorist. He will be regarded as the enemy of the people. Because the Eastern Security Network has come to protect the life and properties that the governors refuse to protect. Not just the governor, the government refused to protect. And this Eastern Security Network is not different than other security networks we have across Nigeria. So, what we are saying now is that if your brother is among those in Enugu State who have been hired to be a forest guard, call him. To quit because if he continues to be a forest guard and what he, he is doing the primary responsibility that the governor has given to him is when he see fulani in the forest he close eye and when he see the eastern security network he blow the alarm then he will be regarded 
as the enemy of the people. This is not about the enemy of IPOB. It's not about the enemy of the Eastern Security Network. It is the enemy of the people. And it is the people who voted for the governor. The people voted for him and put him there where he is, giving order against the will of the people. So the same thing in the Boy State. So Governor Omai, the video you saw is no fake. We are saying it now, up, pump and play. The video you saw, uh, that is, if, if it is part of the one I'm going to play now, the video you saw is not fake. Omar, it is not fake. And to our people in the northern Nigeria, you must, don't, nobody is coming anywhere. Nobody is going anywhere. Nobody. Nobody is going anywhere. If anything begins to happen, which we know will eventually happen, you stay there. You fight until last man standing. It's not the time to start moving your bag and moving and say you are moving to Biafra. You can't move to Biafra. It is late. It is late. You can't. So as you are there in the northern Nigeria, make up your mind. Because the fight you are going to fight there is fight to finish. This is, not, this is a fight for freedom. You have decided to be in the northern Nigeria. You stay there. You stay there. Get yourself prepared. Get yourself prepared. Don't anything just for self-defense. Defend yourself against terrorists in the north because they're going to attack you. They are going to attack you and we are no longer calling you to come back. You don't need to come back. The war must be fought holistically everywhere. This time around, it is not about... Uh, Eurobas or uh, against uh, Biafra, or it is not about the middle part about against Biafra. Everybody in Nigeria has come to know who the enemies are. And the enemies knew. They have come to realize that the Nigeria have come to know who the enemies are. And they are playing fast one. They have decided to promise a lot of them vice president. They have decided to promise a lot of them president. They know how to get Igbo people. They know, of course, not all Igbo people. Those one Nigeria people, they know how to get them. Promise them vice chairman. They are going to kill everybody. Promise them governor. They are going to kill everybody. That is the spirit of Nigeria. In Biafra, it will not be like that. And those fighting for Biafra genuinely cannot be like that. So the people in the north, our message this evening is that anywhere you are in the north, stay. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Stay there. If anything happens, defend yourself. This is Nigeria. You are in Nigeria. We have not declared Biafra. <laughs> we have not declared Biafra, and Biafra will not be declared. We cannot declare Biafra. It is going to happen by referendum. So we are in Nigeria. Any place you are as a Biafran in Nigeria, stay there. You are not going anywhere. But remember one thing. Remember one thing, self-defense. Do not die for nothing. Don't allow yourself to be, to be killed while you are kneeling down and begging, please don't kill me. No. Fight and fight until the last man standing. I want to tell you one thing. Do you know the population of every state in Nigeria, after the indigenous people, you talk about the southern Nigeria people. Now we are not talking about the governor. We are not talking about Biafra. We are not talking about the Igbos. Because this is not a fight for the Igbos. This is not Igbo fight. If you think that this is Igbo fight, my brother, you are a mumu. This what we are talking about now has nothing to do with Igbo fight. The time of the Igbo fight was in the 60s. Now everybody has come to realize it is no longer Igbo fight. So... The warning I am giving now goes to our Yoruba brothers and sisters. Anywhere you find yourself in Nigeria, when they are killing Igbo, they don't, they don't spare you. In the north, if they are killing the Igbos now in the north, they can never spare you, our Yoruba brothers. That is how it, that is, how it is. Everybody from the southern Nigeria is regarded as, if, by extension, Igbo. Because these people know the history very well 
These people know the history of the people they want to conquer. They know it very well. They study the history. They know exactly what the history says. So if they see you as a Yoruba man in Kano, and they are killing the Igbos, of course, when we say Igbos, my brother, this time around, Igbos is not only Southeast. They are going to kill everybody because they know you are no longer with them. They know that the secret is out. They know that Oduduwa people are not happy anymore. They know that all these secrets that have been cooked for years, we have exposed them. They know that the voodoo that used to cage you all have expired. So when they start this killing, my Oduduwa brothers in the north, they are not going to spare you. They are not going to spare you. So therefore, you stay where you are, fight until the last man standing. They can never ever forgive you for setting up Amoteko. Do you know what Amoteko have done? <laughs> do you know what the name Amoteko have done? Amoteko have not done anything. But do you know what that name has done in the north? Or to the people, to the people of Fulani? The name Amoteko is a nightmare. Is a nightmare to the Fulani Caliphate. Amoteko is a nightmare to the conquest of the southern Nigeria. Amoteko has become a nightmare in Fulanis, in Fulani nation. So they can never ever forgive you, the Oduduas. And we are, of course, I don't, we don't need to tell you this because you have come to know. Do not say we didn't tell you. If they are going to start killing the Igbos in the north this time around, the Igbo noun is by extension the Yorubas. They're going to kill everybody. So on that note, when this kill is start, don't run away. Because as you are living your, your, the way you live, trying to run to the south, they're going to stop you on the road and they're going to butcher you. They're going to burn your bosses. They're going to kidnap you and kill you all. So do not run away. All you people have to do now is to start making preparation because the inevitable is here. And what is the inevitable? The killing will start. They will start killing you, the terrorists. They not. They have already succeeded in infuriating all other southern Nigeria. Do you know why the do you know why the people do you know why the people are coming? Do you know why the people somebody say the uh, broadcast is not airing in Enter Biafra? I posted the link. The link is the uh, broadcast is airing in Enter Biafra. It is airing. Let me post the link again where you can watch it. Very, very important because uh, it is good that you people also watch in uh, enterbiafra.com. I will post the link now so you can watch it in Enter Biafra. When for those watching from Facebook, you can see that the broadcast is also there uh, on Facebook. So let me post the link now. You can go there to watch. We are testing a lot of uh, a lot of uh, pages, a lot of pages. So I posted it now, you know. So this is the link where you can watch it. Go to enterbiafra.com uh, slash uh, watch live two slash watch live that watch live two. So if you go there, you are going to watch it from there. So that's the link there. Those on Facebook, we see the link as well. So now the reason is this. If you are in the north and you are from southern Nigeria, this war is go we are going to fight it together. They have their people already in the south waiting for the order to be given. And that is what they want to do. So we will turn this war to them. This time around, the war is not going to be fought in Yoruba land. It is not in Igbo land. It is not in Biafra land. It is going to be in Nigeria. It, the war is going to be fought in Nigeria. And Nigeria is every state in Nigeria. The war is going to be fought there. So if you are in the north, do not just die cowardically. Just make sure you defend yourself when they come. That is the point. And do not be the first to fire the first shot. So now, Omar here of Ebony State, the video I'm about to show you now is, you know, how the terrorist is being driven away from, uh, from the southern Nigeria. And the point is that there is nothing absolutely nothing you can do about it absolutely nothing
So tell Omahi, tell Omahi that this video is not fake video. This is Planis in Ebony State. So we have destroyed their properties and sending telling them to start packing their properties here in Ebony that we don't need Flanis in Ebony. We don't need Mietiala in Ebony State. They should pack out. We are doing everything humanly possible to make sure that all Flanis are packing out here and we will follow them to their destination. We don't need Flanis so that our mother and our father can be able to go to farm. We don't need them anymore. We the indigenous are here to do the native for and the and when you are watching the video you see everything is being organized they are packing their load and they are leaving umahi if you want these people back give them your own compound and lock the gate because if you give their if you give your compound to terrorists and the gate is open we will come there and chase them so if you must give them your compound give them this give the terrorist your compound lock the gate and that is the only way but if you give them your compound and open it we will come there intelligence we are here yes. to do the native full work as you can see them they are parking their properties we destroy all destroyable their properties to make sure that they're packed out from a boy state. We are not here to joke. We are not joking. We are determined to do to pack them out in a boy state. So that if anybody knows governor Oma Omahi, look at the load. This load is not uh, coming in. This load is moving out. Omahe, Mohammed Omahe, this video does it look like fake to you? This is not fake. This is real. That he or her should go. And told him that we determined to do what we are doing. Because we cannot tolerate when our mothers and our fathers go to a farm, they will be threatened with the full anise. We don't need it again as you can see them and we move enough is enough that and we can follow them to their destination to make sure that packed out in a bony entirely totally see them they are here with the two lorries Tell Omahe that this video is not fake. This is real. He is probably shocked to the barrel, to the mom, to the bone marrow. Omahe is probably shocked to the bone marrow. Tell him that the people have come to take charge of their own security. Do you know how many people have been murdered in Ebony State? Do you know how many people? Do you know how many people their head has been chopped off in a boy state? You don't know. I am going to start posting it on enterbiafra.com. You are going to be seeing defenseless women and children fully cut off their head, not cut off completely for committing no crime. Other than staying in their own land, they did not go to North, they did not go to, to Medugri. They did not go to the northeast or northwest. They were in their own village. Umahi looking for presidency. As I'm talking to you today, a lot of people have been murdered. Nobody has been arrested. Some of them, when they kill them, they say, okay, it is the, the community clash. 
it is people fighting for land. The, the one that they are killing in a place called the uh, Ohaku local government, that one, every time they pull an ex come there to kill, they say they, they have been fighting the war for many years. They have been fighting the war. In EZ, they kill, they say it is community clashing and this. They are killing and chopping off head. And the place where you see these people going now, you can't go there in the evening. Never. You can't go there in the evening. So, the point we are making is this. Omahe, this is not dreaming. This is not dream. This is real. It is happening in 2021. And we call it the cleansing of terrorist camp in the southern Nigeria. This is not about Biafra. It's not about a boy state. It is going to happen everywhere in the south. And we are making it very clear. You see, this is very peaceful. You see, this is very peaceful because there, there were no, you know, uh, uh, counter attack and all that. This is very, very peaceful. I'm going to show you a video where they decide not to be peaceful. I'm going to show you a video where the terrorists decide not to be peaceful. And when you look at them, they are packing. So tell Omahe that the video he saw, if it is not this one, that the video is not fake. This video is real. And as you can see it, there is nothing like doctored video there. It is real. Tell Omahe that the security is out of his hand, that the people have come to take over the security of life and property. Nigeria as a failed state. And I believe number one video is clear. The number one video is clear. I believe that after this video I have played now, Muhammad Omahi will not go on air again to assure the Fulanese in Abuja that he has ordered the arrest of the people. Let him come and arrest me. Now, let me also play the video of how the terrorist camp are being destroyed. Because, I, like I said, I do not want to play the video before. But Umahi's statement a few hours ago have compelled me. One moment. Tell Omahe, tell Omahe that the next video, the next video is not fake. You can see um, today is Saturday, uh, December 2020. We went to their uh, houses to make sure we burn down the building because we begged them to leave our land. They disagree with us. Look at this. We are here live and direct. We are here live and direct. You can hear the echo. They are challenging us. We are going to teach them the lesson they will never forget. Here we are. This is the local government to be precise. Thank you very much. We are here. You can see. Omahi, the video you are watching is not fake. This is right there in your own Ebony state. It is happening live. This is not fake. And because they were attacking the people, as you can be hearing the gunshot, 
but they know or they don't know how prepared the people are the people have come they have been killing them for ages nobody have done anything the local the government have not arrested anybody the government have not prosecuted anybody and it is it has come to the point that the people are taking the security of their life into their own hands so the gunshot you are hearing is the terrorists firing at them the gunshot is the Fulanese, terrorist Fulanese firing at them. They knew that these people are not scared of bullets. So immediately the fire started burning, they are on the run. Look at it. We are here live and arrest. We are burning their places due to their attitude. It is not good. I hope we do not parry. We no going there. Okay. Let's go. I'm done. So tell Omahi that the video I have just played now is not fake. Tell Omahi that this video is not fake. It is completely genuine and a fact. And he, you know, he know, he probably knows the place because he is the one giving them land. Without the consent of the people, without the consent of the owner of the land, so tell Omahi if he want them back, let him go and open his house and let them come there. But as he opened the as as he opened the house, he must not he must not as he opened his house he must not open the gate because if he opened the gate. The people of the southern Nigeria will besiege there and they will, they will commit havoc. It, it has come to that. This is no longer, it is a matter of life and death. They have killed our women and children. In, in, in a one local government there in Ebony, they butchered old woman about 80 years, 80 years old. They butchered a woman. If you see lifeless women that have nothing, nothing, and you know one thing, we have a survivor who can tell the story. And the survivor is still alive today. The government don't know about it. Government, the governor don't know. And the governor never visited any place this plan is are killing. Look at him saying the people circulating video. This is people circulating video. And he is more interested in people circulating video. He is not interested in the people that have killed and butchered and cut their head off in his own state. So tell Omahi. In fact, the next video I am about to show you is for you to tell Omahi this are the to, to for Omahi to know the people we are talking about. Now let us go there. Tell Omahi. This is the people we are talking about. Tell Omahi that this video he is watching now is not fake. Tell Omahi that this particular video is not fake. Tell Omahi that this is not Central Africa Republic. Tell Omahi that this is not Cameroon. Tell Omahi this is not Egypt. Tell Omahi this is not Libya. Tell Omahi the people are headed to Nigeria. And tell Omahi they are not coming to uh, Northwest. Tell Omahi they are not coming to Northeast. Tell Omahi that these people are coming to the Southern Nigeria. So when they come to Southern Nigeria, they divide themselves. And these places we are chasing them away now could have been their, their camping ground. So anybody we see in our forest, henceforth, will be treated as a terrorist, will be treated as one of these people you are seeing here. 
dingol viladi mayudo fo sahidi hewto annabiyo arande voli bede o yabande njaki dede be wuri fusu bade o dakko annabiyo min ori jihadi dim dingol viladi mayudo fo sahidi hewto annabiyo biya bismillah makko do woni nokku makko o hewta to jomi makko do wadda annabi min ori jihadi lim din gol biladi ma yudo bo sahidi hewto annabiyu be gaddan kaddule je ngari fono ne majje mizugo urdi majje urungol annabiyu min ori hello mahe the beast machines and the all this motorcycle are not coming to ride on the flyover he built in a boy state tell you mahe that the people he see here are not coming to rent the shop he built in a bony state. Tell Omahi that the people he see here are not coming to rent the modern market or the market he built and the shops he built in a bony state. Tell Omahi that the people he see here are not coming to mine gold. Of course, they will mine the gold by the time they get a grab the government. Tell Omahi they are not coming to a bony state to pay taxes to his government. Omahi, why then? Do you want to side terrorists against your own people? Why then have you decided to sell your people who voted you, who stood on the rain and on the sun, under the sun, to put their vote and cast their vote to you? Why have you decided to be the Lucifer of our time? Do you know what we do to Lucifer? Lucifer will be thrown out of heaven. That is exactly how Igbo and Biafra and the, by extension, the entire southern Nigeria will throw you out from the heaven. If you do not retract your step from today. The voice is coming from Enenewite. Biafrans are small people, but you don't know what we can do. If you do not retract your step from today and allow terrorists to continue to kill people in a bony state, as a chairman of the Southeast Governors Forum, by extension to the entire Eastern Nigeria, you will see what is coming. This is revolution to secure the life and properties of our people. This is not politics. Don't think we are playing politics here. You know, choose up a good to work. I want to marry to see the people that he is inviting. Chaure yai sahidi, chaure dei sahidi, esagira be sahidi, oheuti annabiyu. Min ori jihadi, lim dingol biladi, mayudo bo sahidi, oheuto annabiyu. Mona hokka sahada, o winda sahada, leida rul hulada, no wundi annabiyu. Men ori jihadi, lim dingol viladi, mayu do bo sahidi, hewto annabiyu. Filoda malfa mada, bala jo mi mada, kiuta hore mada, njoka annabiyu. Men ori jihadi, lim dingol viladi, mayu do ロックのイリフェウレネビノニファンフォエジョメンジョンタゴレワルガニョアンナビユミンオリジアディリムディンゴルビラディマイドボサヒディヘウドアンナビユミンオリジアディリムディンゴルビラディマイドボサヒディ
we wish to Because a lot of you don't know what is going on. A lot of you don't know how complicit the government of Nigeria are. Now watch. We wish to retreat that Nigeria is a sovereign state and will not surrender a sovereignty to any organization. ICC, Amnesty International, and their cohorts should desist from threatening our troops and putting the security of our country in jeopardy. Enough is enough. It is sad that these organizations mostly rely on... You are watching the Minister of Information of the Terrorist Republic of Nigeria giving warning to ICC, giving warning to international organization, giving warning to international community about their involvement in trying to save the life of the people in Nigeria. Now watch the highest impunity of the century. On fake news and disinformation to reach their conclusions. As witnessed during the ANSAS protest, Nigeria is not and cannot be a failing or failed state. Of course, you remember that for the past two decades or so, some pseudo-analysts have been predicting the country's implosion. That has not happened. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? That is a minister of information speaking on behalf of the government, warning foreign bodies to not interfere as the Nigeria army has been compromised. He is warning them. Do you understand what is happening? And that is exactly what they have told Umahi, Muhammad Umahi of Ebony State to do against his own people. But this time around, Umahi don't know that this is not about talking on social media. We are on ground. We are on ground. This is not, uh, be, before they were saying, you people are talking on social media, you people are social media country, you can only talk, talk. Now, I think they are seeing action, right? Now, it didn't end here. Oh, this is a minister telling you that if the international community kick them, they can come and they ridicule Nigeria and whatever. That they shouldn't try it. Minister of Information. Now, do you now see how complicit Do you see how complicit the people are? Now, let me also bring you another video. Because uh, people don't know what is going on in Nigeria. We need to we need to we need to make you, you know, be on top of the of what is going on so that you begin to think, you know, you know, you know in a different way. You need to start thinking differently. One moment. Of course, they have caught the video. They have deleted the video. <laughs> One moment. Anyway, they have de they have deleted the video, but however, however, they have deleted the video, but however, I'm gonna bring a different video. I'm gonna bring a different video. You know, they have deleted the video. I wanted to I wanted to play to you. 
I'm going to find it because I believe my, my system have captured it somehow. My system have captured that video, so I'm going to find it. But uh, in, in absence of that, in the absence of that, let us listen to this one. Boko Haram uh, and other allied threats now. The current governor of Borneo State uh, has been attacked twice. Um, one would have expected that his own security would be the greatest of any Borneo citizen. Um, more recently, just in the last couple of weeks of 2020, um, a number of uh, rice farmers were beheaded. That was the report uh, by Boko Haram. And before that, there had been other outrages, shall we say, both involving military and non-military personnel. So, right now, in the case of the Bornu part of it, before we come to the general one, how do you think we can tackle this? Fine. One, if the goodwill is there, if I were, the, uh, if I were to have the ears of the, of the president, our dear president and commander-in-chief, President Buhari, I will insist that uh, the command system of the military be decentralized so that junior commanders could also give command in, in case of a threat, you should be able to do it. Number one, and rather than waiting for them, even the police have, uh, they have their own way of neutralizing the enemy before, uh, rather than waiting. Now the military of one is still colonial, colonial in the sense that British and so on did it for their own. They did not allow them to or review the laws. And therefore the command, as long as the command is from top up down, it will not work. Because this is a special uh, uh, an emergency issue. And also it needs emergency solution to it. And therefore uh, the command should step in from... Uh, rather than just waiting for the, from the headquarters in Abuja to reach the field commanders, it is rather... Are you seeing how confused they are? Are you hearing how confused they are? This, this is the people that you want. We, we give uh, the life of our people. These are the people that could not protect their own. The, the security, national security advisor is from Monguno. Monguno was raided and... The, and the, you know, leveled to the ground by Boko Haram. The National Security Advisor is from there. Now, in, the, in this Nigeria, no security chief is from Biafra. No security chief is from Ibo. I think we have, uh, we have uh, the uh, chief of Naval staff, yes. No Ibo speaking security chief. Now, if a security chief come from the north, Burutai is from the northeast or northwest or so, and that is the, the den of Boko Haram. What do you think will happen in the southern Nigeria? What do you think will happen? The chief security, uh, the, the national security advisor is from Monguno. Monguno was leveled. What do you think will happen to your state that have not even a single general? Huh? Look at how confused they are. Telling you, oh, every day, the same story. Every day, the government should do this. The government should do that. And Boko Haram keep ambushing military. And those military men are from our side. They are from the southern Nigeria. They keep ambushing this, ambushing that. You just heard the opening uh, statement of that uh, journalist. Now, you know what is going to shock you? What is going to shock you is that even the one they call the Photoshop manager, Femi Adesina, Femi Adesina came to say that even Zulu, the Zulu they are talking about now, knows that security is better. Now, and I want you to, I want you to listen to the opening speech of this journalist before I take you to the uh, uh, Femi Adesina. One moment. I want you to pay attention to the opening speech of that journalist. How do we tackle how do we tackle the issue of Boko Haram uh, and other allied threats now? 
the current governor of Borneo State uh, has been attacked twice. Um, one would have expected that his own security would be the greatest of any Borneo citizen. Um, more recently, just in the last couple of weeks of 2020, um, a number of uh, rice farmers were beheaded. That was the report um, by Boko Haram. And before that, there had been other outrages, shall we say, both involving military and non-military personnel. So, right now, in the case of the Bornu part of it, before we come to the general one, how do you think we can tackle this? Fine. You heard him very well. You heard him, you heard him loud and clear, telling you that the governor had been attacked twice. And the governor was not attacked in 2015. No governor has been attacked, ever. No governor has been attacked by Boko Haram. That is on the record. In the history of this whole Boko Haram, no governor has been attacked. But they have attacked Zulum twice. After that attack, Femi Adesin, I have this to tell you. One moment. My people, this is what Femi Adesin I have to tell you. Femi Adesin I say, Femi Adesina says, Gover even Governor Zulum knows that the security situation in Bruno State is far better than what it was in 2015. Are you seeing it? Are you seeing the people? Are you seeing the people aiding the terrorists from the south? Are you seeing this man, this Afonsi Femi Adesina? A Photoshop manager. Are you seeing him opening his mouth to tell Nigerians, of course, he, he was not talking to the international community, nobody listening to him, to tell Gulibu Nigerians that even Governor Zulu knows that the security situation in Borono is far better than what it was in 2015. When do you just hear the journalist saying the governor has been attacked twice? A lot of you know the attack on that governor last year. This like this 2020. But Governor Mahe is saying, because I have not I have not shown you where what Omahe said. I didn't show you what Omahe said, right? Let me bring what Omahe said. For those who did not know, who did not know the, the impunity and confusion in Mohammed Omahe of Ebony State, I want you to read this with me. Omahe orders arrest of persons circulating fake video of attack on headers in Ebony State. The governor of Ebony, the, gov, uh, the, uh, the Ebony State government on Monday ordered the arrest of circulators of a video on social media that Fulani men were being attacked and chased out of the state. 
Governor Omahi said, uh, said at, at a news conference in Abakaliki that the video was fake. And I am telling him this evening, anywhere you see Omahi, tell him that Simon Ekpa have played that video and the video is not fake. Tell him that every reasonable human being in the southern Nigeria back the action of the youth, back the action of whoever that were involved in chasing the terrorists and destroying their camp in a boy stage. Tell Omahi that I, Simon Ekpa, back that kind of action to chase away the terrorists that have murdered and killed our women in their cold blood, and the government has never arrested anyone. Tell Omahe that every reasonable human being supports that action, and more of the action is coming. Tell Omahe that even if he even if he ordered them now to go to his house, that the only way we will not chase them away from the from his house is when he closes his gate, because. From the videos I have showed you now, the international community are talking how the government has failed to protect the life and properties of the people. And now we have people who have volunteered to make sure that our land is free of terrorists. And every person who is human being and who have conscience should come out and support the action and support those who have volunteered to make sure that we don't have the situation of the Northeast in, in the Eastern Nigeria. This is a task that must be done. We have two tasks. Well, let me read this thing first. He ordered security agencies to investigate the source of the video and arrest the circulators. The governor said the video had caused panic and tension. Which panic and tension? So the killing of people in your state did not cause tension. The killing and the butchering of women and cutting off their head in your state, Umahi, did not cause tension. And in fact, this is not, the way you are going to see tension is to bring them back. Bring those terrorists back to your state. There you will see tension. Let them come back. Now, the security personnel must ensure that those behind the circulation of the video, which has caused panic across the country, are brought to book. Which, which security, which security, you did not order the security personnel to look for those who butchered the head of the woman. And this is the reason why I said the, the, the time will come when we will off all the uh, all our social media platform and you only see the video on Enter Biafra because if I begin to show the pictures of what I'm talking about now from a body state or the video from a body state, a lot of you will run mad this evening. What these people have done in a body state, you are going to run mad. So how would a boy, how would the governor order the security people to bring to book the people circulating video when he has not been able to bring the people that killed women and cut their head off? Does that make sense? Does that make sense? He continued, we must increase our security surveillance at the grassroots level. I urge the security agencies to set up and arrest persons circulating the video on social media, Omahi said. You can imagine, Muhammad Omahi, Mr. Inusa Sani, uh, hey, I, I, I would have, uh, you see, Mr. Inusa Sani, Secretary Mayete Ala Cartel Breeders Association in the State Chapter condemned the misleading video, adding that it is fake news. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it is not fake news. I have just played the video. I have shown the video. I have shown the video. I have played it here. Does that video look like any fake? The video is not fake. But do you know what? They know. It is end. It, the end has come. So they can even call it fake new, fake video. Let it be fake video. Yes, we agree. In fact, yes, it is fake. The only problem I have is that you are saying you want to arrest the people circulating the fake video. Let us agree that the video is fake. But the point is that the place we have chased them, they cannot come back there again. And anywhere they are seen, anywhere in East, in uh, southern Nigeria, they will be chased as well. The Yorubas. Amatecons are doing the same thing. It is going to be a holistic fight. 
So if the Mayete Ala think that uh, this is, uh, uh, you know, uh, business as usual, you don't know what is coming. So you people continue to tag is fake. Let us agree it is fake. But the, the message has been sent and the message will continue, we continue to send the message anywhere the terrorists are seen. We can't allow them anymore. The, the time has come and the game is over. The game is over. That is how serious we are. This is not 1967. Let us continue. He said, the video is an orchestrated attempt by mischief makers and enemies of peace. What happened was that on, on January 2nd, uh, one of us, Alhaji Adamu, residing at Ezibu village in, in, in Kaleke uh, community, informed the association of his relocation to Taraba. <laughs> I use, I use this opportunity to urge the general public to disregard the video circulating and no full enhancement was attacked or chased out of a boy state, said Sane. He said the henchmen had prohibited peacefully, with which peacefully, peacefully where the women are being killed. So somebody is relocating to Taraba. Okay. Second of January, he relocating to Taraba. <laughs> Did you hear them? 2nd of January, the person is relocating to Taraba. Of course, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, he's relocating to Taraba. Which day was the uh, second? This is the fifth. We are now in the fifth because where I am now, we are in the fifth, the fifth January. Three days ago, three days ago, he was re he began to relocate to Taraba. Let him relocate to Taraba. That is exactly what. So, what is the difference from what? What is the difference now? from the video I'm showing you and the news I'm giving you. Eh? Do they not understand broken? The Fulanis that are there understand the broken. The people that were on ground, venoring it and telling you the way it is, they don't understand the broken, at least. They understand broken. They knew what the person the, uh, taking the video was saying. If it was a lie, if it was a lie, they would have confronted him. That is how to know. He, the person taking the video did not, you know, lower his voice. He did not hide it. He did not make it in secret. So if and the, the Fulanis there understand broken, at least they understand broken. So if it was not true, they would have confronted him. They would have confronted him to say, "We are nobody asks us to live. We are living by ourselves." You see, that's a lie. They think that they can they can lie to everybody. They, they don't know how prepared we are. Tell everybody in Nigeria and Omahi that it is not Omahi himself. No, it's not fake. He only trying to cover to cover his ass because he know he's not in control anymore. He is totally not in control. The people have come to take the, the, uh, the protection and the security of their life and property into their own hand because Nigeria have failed. All of them has failed. So what I have come to do this evening is that tell Omahi the video is not fake. And tell Omahi also that what this Mayete Allah Press Secretary or whatever is saying correspond with the story I'm giving you now. It correspond. It also correspond with the person taking the video. The person took the video in their present. The person took the video in full and in present, and they understand broken. He was not speaking in a dialect they will not understand. He took the video walking around the place, taking the video in their present, saying it the way it is. So why would you come to say the man decided to move to Taraba? So only one full and have this whole place. Now let me show you. Let us read the thing again. Let us read. Listen, listen, what happened was that on January 2nd, one of us, Alahaji Adamu, residing at uh, Ozi Ozibo village in Nkaleke, Ichaba, Enyi Bichiri community, informed the association of his relocation to Taraba, to Taraba State. I use this opportunity to all the general public could disregard the video circulating on social media uh, and the full, on full enhancement was attacked or chased out of a boy state, said Sunny. They were chased out. Now, remember what he said. He said, 
He said that somebody was relocating to Alahaji Adamu. Now let me show you again the video so that you will know you will know what it means for one Alahaji to move according to them. You are going to see one Alahaji moving. One moment. You are going to see one Alahaji moving. That Alahaji must be a very, very powerful Alahaji. One Alahaji is moving with two trailers. That Alahaji is a very, very powerful Alahaji. Bigger than Usman Danfodu. Because even if Usman Danfodu did not move, we did not move with two trailers. Now, you are about to watch uh, what they call Alahaji Adamu moving. <laughs> Alahaji Adamu. And uh, we are making the video completely public now for everybody to see. Look at it. <laughs> I want you to look at this vicinity. I want you to look at the vicinity. Tell me, does this look like one person's uh, uh, camp? Does which Alahaji, which Alahaji will own all this place? Now watch. This is Flanis in Ebony State. So we have destroyed their properties and sending telling them to start packing their properties here in Ebony that we don't need Flanis in Ebony, we don't need Mietiala in Ebony State. They should pack out. I want you to count how many houses, how many houses they have uprooted. I want you to start counting how many houses. We are doing Is this even a house? What do I, what, what, what do I call it? Everything humanly possible to make sure that all Flanis are packing out here and we will follow them to their destination. We don't need Flanis so that our mother and our father can be able to go to farm. We don't need them anymore. We the indigenous are here to do the native work and the intelligence we are here yes. to do the native full work. As you can see them, they are parking their properties. I want you to count all the, the whatever you call it, tent or what you call it. I want you to start counting all of them. We destroy all destroyer. Because he is the Moses of uh, Fulani. Moses of Fulani is packing to, to Taraba. All their properties to make sure that they are packed out from Ebony State. We are not here to joke. We are not joking. We are determined to do to pack them out in a bony state so that if anybody knows governor Mahi that he or her should go yes. and told him that we determined to do what we are doing yes. because we cannot tolerate when our mothers and our fathers go to a farm they will be threatened with the full anise. we don't are you seeing the load of uh, Moses of uh, terrorist Fulanis? Need it again. So you can see them. And we move. enough is enough that and we can follow them to their destination to make sure that packed out in a bony entirely, totally. See them. This is the load of the Moses, the Moses of uh, terrorist Fulanis. Now tell me, uh, which Alahaji, which Alahaji own a load like we carry two truck? Where, which which uh, Fulani man own load in this kind of place that we carry that two truck we come to carry the the load, and almost a village. They are here with the two lorries.
you have seen it. This is not, uh, you know, when uh, when uh, the Garobashehu came to say the president have ordered all of them to leave the bush. <laughs> we don't know whether this is part of the leaving the bush, <laughs> leaving the bush. So Omar, he should know that we mean business. We mean business. And he should also know that he is no longer in charge and not in control because they have failed to protect the life and properties of our people. And on this note, I will bring the broadcast to an end. So tell Omahe that the Eastern Security Network have come to stay. Tell those who parade themselves with the Afano that the security have come to stay. And anybody who think they are going to sabotage the security outfit is wasting a lot of time. Wasting a lot of time because they will never succeed. This is not this is something you have never seen before. So the security network have come to stay. The only thing needed from you is support. If you cannot bring your money, pray. If you cannot pray, use your mouth to support them. Don't talk ill of the people that have volunteered themselves to protect your land and, and chase the terrorists away. And remember that by the time these people you saw using bike, when they arrive, you are not going to be in a, where you are doing your building material or whatever and, the, and be fighting in the forest. So be at least a good person for once. Be a good person. Be a good person for once. For what? Just once. Good night. May God bless you. May God bless Republic of Biafra. May God bless Oduduwa. May God bless Middle Belt. May God bless other wives that will accept my prayer. May God bless the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB worldwide. May God bless Mazin Amdekano. May God bless you who are genuinely supporting the agitation and who are genuinely supporting, you know, in any way you, you are supporting, whether you are a member or whether you are not a member. So long as you are genuinely supporting what we are doing, may God bless you. Good night. See you tomorrow. And tomorrow we are coming with a different topic. The struggle has taken a different dimension. It is no longer talk. It is now talk and do. So you that have been looking for the action, don't complain. The action is here. Good night.